Hello everyone and welcome back. We are starting a new series about celebrities and the medical conditions you didn't know they had. Who am I? My name is Dr. Oskan and I am training to be a GP in the UK. And today's celebrity topic is Gigi Hadid and Hashimoto's. So who is Gigi Hadid? Well, she's an American model who's also a TV personality. And for reasons I do not understand, in 2018, she was criticized for her weight gain. I mean, have a look at this photo. All I can see is a woman who is of a very healthy weight. I will never understand the modeling industry, but let's not digress. Well, did you know that the reason she gained weight during this time period is because she was suffering from Hashimoto's? This is a condition that can affect up to 2% of the population. That's roughly one in 50 people. So what exactly is Hashimoto's? Well, the term was coined by a Japanese physician, Hakaru Hashimoto in 1912. And he basically described that it was an autoimmune condition, which basically means that the body is attacking itself. And in this condition, it's attacking the thyroid gland. So what is the thyroid gland? where it's a gland that sits right in your neck in front of your windpipe and its primary function is to produce a hormone called the thyroid hormone. They describe it in terms of a hormone that controls your metabolic rate, but it does much more than this. So in addition to being involved in a metabolic rate, it also has functions in the digestive system, brain development, and bone health. So Hashimoto's disease being a disease where the body attacks the thyroid gland, it destroys it over a period of time, meaning that it cannot release the thyroid hormone. And this results in many symptoms, and the most common ones being feeling tired, gaining weight, feeling cold, having a dry and thin hair, and for women causing heavy menstrual periods. And it can sometimes cause the thyroid gland to enlarge, what we call a goiter. And I'm not sure if in this photo, if that is what Gigi is trying to hide, but in subsequent photos, I've not seen it, so it seems as though she doesn't have a goiter. I'll tell you something about me that you'll never be able to unsee now that I've told you. So I actually have a goiter. Have you ever noticed? I get a few comments here and there when people have noticed my neck. So let's show you. So you can see the neck is sort of supposed to be smoothed down and um, but whereas with my neck you can see this bulge here. Yeah. So that is a goiter. And in my condition, it's not overactive or underactive. It's just an enlarged thyroid gland of no unknown cause. So I've just learned to accept it and I embrace it. So you might be thinking, who is susceptible to Hashimoto's? Well, there is a very strong genetic link. This has been shown in studies where they use twins that have Hashimoto's and they've noticed in identical twins, they both are highly likely to have Hashimoto's compared to the general public. In addition to this, it's mostly seen in women and those that are young and middle-aged. And it's quite easily diagnosed. So you can do a blood test to one, check your thyroid hormone levels, and you can also check the particular antibodies that are involved in destroying the thyroid gland. You can also have ultrasounds to have a look at what's happening in terms of the inflammation. And this in turn leads to its treatment. So as we've described, the autoimmune condition means that you basically do not have or have low levels of thyroid hormone. So we need to replace this somehow. And this is often done in a tablet form that contains the thyroid hormone, most commonly things like levothyroxine. So what does this mean for Gigi as a woman and patients who are considering pregnancy in the future? Well, having low thyroid hormones in pregnancy can make you susceptible to miscarriage, low birth weight, preterm labor, and many more. So it's always advised that if you do have issues with your thyroid levels, then you consult your doctor prior to getting pregnant and there's usually adjustments done to your thyroid tablets. So what have we learned today? Many women around the world, including Gigi Hadid, has a disease called Hashimoto's. It's an autoimmune condition that attacks the thyroid glands and it's usually a lifelong condition which means patients need to take thyroid hormones in a tablet form. And yes, although it is associated with weight gain, scrap what the modeling industry says, Gigi looks amazing, and let's celebrate different body shapes and sizes. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be making a series of this, so if you want to catch up on which celebrity has which medical condition, then don't forget to subscribe, and I'd love for you to like the video if you enjoyed it today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.